I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Those keys. It's like... What do you want me to do? Well, I could watch something until you finish your actual talking. It could take over an hour, though. Can you, if you're doing messaging, can you do it on your phone and then do, like, how how hard are you going to be typing? Not really. You can always blame me for it. Not really. Yeah. yeah, but it's not like you've done something funny. It's just, like, an annoying thing all the way through. Like, if you've done something funny, I'd be like, okay, you can be in the film. But <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, just smashing your keyboard. I'm not smashing my keyboard. Sounds like a mouse. Start trying to type quietly. Okay, welcome back to a stadium visit film, which I haven't done one. I haven't done one for a while, so it may be a little bit rusty. And also, I should warn you that my internet is playing up at the moment and being even slower than normal, which I didn't think was possible, but turns out it is. I'm getting like four meg download. You don't need to know this. Doesn't matter. Today we're in Bergamo. Bergamo is the home of Atalanta Football Club and this is their stadium. Stadio Atleti Azzurri d'Italia as it well that is what it was previously known as because coming into the 2019-2020 season it's going to be known as the Gafis Stadium due to sponsorship reasons. I hate it when stadiums are named after brands. It really does my head in. It's like when Stoke Stadium changed from the Victoria Ground. They built the new ground. It was changed to the Britannia Stadium. Just so ridiculous. And now is the Bet365 Stadium, which is even worse. Anyway, where is Bergamo? Well, Bergamo is in Italy, surprisingly. Uh, north of Italy. And let's just have a quick zoom out and have a look. Um, so here's Bergamo. Milan is just over here. Piacenza is just round here somewhere, I think. There's Cremona. There's the River Po. So the, yeah, there it is, sorry. Piacenza. So Piacenza's here. Milan is here. Bergamo is here. So we're all pretty pretty close together in the north. Um, right up the north. As far as you can go up the north. Palermo's going to be a long, <laughs> a long journey when we have to go and play them. But yeah, um, very, very far north this time. So yeah, interesting, you know. Not many places in Italy further north than Bergamo, actually. Big cities, that is, anyway. So, yeah, we are at the Gavis Stadium to have a look around and get ready for our match against Atalanta. Again, it's that kind of classic classic shape for um, Italian stadiums, really, this kind of oval oval shape. And, again, it looks like the stands go right down well, as close as possible to the pitch, Seems like it would be, you know, a pretty good atmosphere in there. The The stadium was built in the 20s, I think, around 27, 28, something like that, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. I'm not going to bother going and check it. I could do, but can't be bothered. Uh, it's something like that, 1928. Um, the club was formed in 1907, and the stadium, this particular stadium, was built in 1928. It's actually not that big a stadium for Serie A. It only holds, like, just over 20,000. So, you know, fairly going to be fairly compact. I imagine they probably fill that out quite a lot, you would think, anyway. And they're doing quite well at the moment as well in real life. So, you know, I'm sure they fill that stadium pretty much every week. But it's no San Siro. It's not that kind of huge, huge kind of stadium that's just massive and imposing. You know, it looks like quite quite an intimate stadium, a stadium with some with some history behind it as well. Let's Let's get down and have a look around, shall we? Here we are. Ooh. Already, this is just making me think about what it must be like to be an actual footballer, to be playing on a pitch like this. I mean, look. Well, first off, just look how nice the pitch is. It'd just be amazing to play football on that. Although my ball skills, you know, the ball would go flying and roll off and everything. But, you know, look, you've got a little bit of mountains in the background. It looks like all this standing standing terracing there and it looks like they get pretty close to the pitch level as well so you know it'll feel like a proper cauldron when you're playing in there i reckon i bet it gets really loud who's this down here it's like pep guardiola <laughs> pep guardiola come to have a little come to have a little lesson in in managerial skills and tactics from from jim g and look he's brought david silver with him as well <laughs> let's go down this road this one looks like 
the one that we might be able to get out the front of the stadium on somehow. So we'll have a look. Oh, hello. Who's <laughs> this guy? Straight away, we've got a character here. Look at those sandals. Uh, oh, he's got them weird glasses that break apart. So weird, those glasses. Don't I don't get them. Crazy. Um, the headless motorbike guy. Is he hiding from the Google camera? Looks like he might be. Sneak, what's he up to? Must be some kind of ultra. What's he doing? You just don't see anything like this in... <laughs> well, you don't see anything like this in the UK anyway. But look at that. Atleti Azzurri di Italia. So that is the entrance to the stadium with this amazing statue on the top that I thought was doing a fascist salute. It's not. It's okay. Yeah, just you don't see anything like that in, in England. So that's pretty crazy. They all seem to have these weird sort of facades. A lot of the stadiums seem to have these weird front kind of classical sort of entrances and then you go inside and it's a stadium. Someone stood around waiting. Well, you know, all the ultra graffiti there. Oh, <laughs> and there's the culprit. Look at him. He's got he's got spray cans in that bag. You can just tell. I bet he's got like black and blue fingers there. Let's get into the, the, the thing that you're all here for. Let's go and have a look around the city. So, the city appears to have... I did a little bit of a little bit of research on it, and it's got like a um, an upper and a lower part to the city. Now I'm not sure exactly where they are. Ah, Cheetah Alta, that must be the the upper one, and I don't know where the lower bit is, but I'm around somewhere. Maybe it's just this area, and it's just not referred to as the low, the lower part of the city. But let's start off up here then, shall we? Should we go in the Cheetah Alta? Down via Salve, there's shiny shorts. They're bloody shiny, aren't they? You got shiny enough shorts on, love. Right. Keep going. They may be official Piacenza shorts, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting into some kind of... <laughs> what the hell are we getting into here? Uh, we're getting into something. Rabbit heads. Like, more... They're clearly tourists, probably English. Bin Man. Classic. It's the Bin Man. Always the bloody Bin Man. Bin Man, ice cream. <laughs> you couldn't, well, you could predict it, but, you know, it's what we see in every Italian city. What's he doing? Oh, God. He's like, for God's sake, I'm not walking anymore. This is, I've had enough of this. I'm not walking. You're going to have to carry me. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time sitting down there, sir, if that's what you're doing. Unless this guy is having some kind of dirty protest here. I mean, this guy is arguing. I mean, this is one of those pre-Raphaelite type type image images that we end up with, isn't it? Like, take a, take a picture. There you go. Look at this. This guy telling them off for some reason. And this guy, dirty protest on the seat. Is this down? I don't even... I can't even... No, this is up. <laughs> oh... Just left like a, an imprint of herself on the floor there. And is that an imprint of her dog? There's a dog. Oh, dog's done a poo. <laughs> Picking up the dog, he's proud, isn't he? Look, yes, that's mine. What are you going to do about it? And look at that. Well, it's a view. I wonder if we can see the stadium from here. Oops. Oh, damn it. That's an old that's an old door, isn't it? Someone's left their uh, bottles on the top there. God, oh, this is proper old, isn't it? That's proper old, isn't it? Oof. Goodness me. That looks scary, doesn't it? That does look like something, like somewhere Jack the Ripper would slash someone or something like that. Um, let me just let me just study you while you take that photo. <laughs> um, oh, it's okay. She's done it. Yeah, she survived. Thank, thank God. Well done, sir. You saved her life. Busyish area. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A gentleman selling his wares. Anybody need any scissors? Or Russian dolls. <laughs> scissors and Russian dolls. The scissors and Russian dolls man is out today. 
It's got some drill bits as well. Circular saw. Philly boots. Okay, so I found this guy. And I kind of saw this whole thing unfold backwards. But here we can see it forwards. So look, this guy's here with his burger. He's got Burger King or something like that with his with this girl. There's a little pigeon come into play here. And you can see he's holding the water bottle. Now watch this. Go to the next, skip to the next shot. There's water sprayed on the floor. Did he throw that water at the pigeon? I don't know. Maybe he did. Because all of these people are looking at him. They're thinking, what's this guy up to? Why is he chucking water at the pigeon? And then look what unfolds next. <laughs> he goes for it. That's it. He's had enough. Get off me, Burger King, you bastard. He's chasing the, chasing the pigeon off. Pigeon's after his burger. Bergamo. <laughs> his pigeon's after his bergamo. It's not even fucking funny, is it? The bur Let's try. We should try and find the bergamo Burger King, actually, shouldn't we? Burger King, bergamo. Oh, there's only one near. Well, fuck it, let's go there. Burger King, Berg bergamo. <laughs> there it is, in relation to bergamo. So you're telling me that bergamo's Burger King is all the way out there. Bloody hell. Well, I suppose they've got enough decent food in... In Italy, haven't they? They don't need a Burger King. But while we're here, you know, serendipity. Let's let's go down and uh, and have a look around. We've ended up here for a reason. I wonder if there is a reason that we've been brought to this location. There has to be a reason for all this. There has to be something out here that's interesting enough to kind of complete the circle of this story. Fuck this. No, there's not. Let's look at one of these. Oh. <laughs> the Pope, or is that some kind of Sith Lord? I don't know. But we're in an extremely old place, and can we move around inside? Oh, this is, this is the dream, if we've got, like, a museum that we can actually walk around. No, I think all we can do... Oh! Yes, we can. Gee whiz. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? This is a cathedral or something, is it? Whoa. I mean, no expense spared there, is there? Some scaffolding up. That is pretty extravagant. But then religion's like that, isn't it? I mean, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> appropriate, isn't it? But no, that's, I didn't mean it like that. Let's see what that is. It's another church. Creepy. Oh, God. It's like Twin Peaks. Like creepy Twin Peaks church. Oh, I can't. I don't think I can stay in here. That is creepy. 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 Solo Ultra 1907. And that must be him. He's the Solo Ultra. It's like he was born in 1907. Come on. Let's, let's have a better look at this. Come on, you fucking shit. Right, here we go. That's the image. That's the image I was after. Ultras Atalanta, Solo Ultra, 1907. And there he is. I don't go for cheap laughs, so, you know, it takes me a while to find decent stuff. Stop listening to me. It's not the first time you've been listening for fucking ages. <laughs> I'm cutting shitloads. I was like, I've been filming for like two hours or whatever the hell it is. I'm cutting shitloads out. I only end up using about like three minutes. It takes me like two hours to find three minutes of footage. <laughs> it's Rick James. <laughs> What is that? She got, she's got like, okay, yeah, you've got yellow trousers on, but like then down there, she's got a yellow pom-pom on the back of her shoe as well. 
Pull outside. John McEnroe. <laughs> I see you decided to wear no socks today. But have your trousers <laughs> just yeah, you get those ankles out. Give give those ankles an airing. Show them off. Why not? Okay, so I just came across this on the wall outside the stadium. Un paso avanti violenza ad ultranza. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I mean, violenza looks like violence. So this is definitely something some ultras have written. So I thought, I'll check that out. I'll, I'll see what that translates to. So are you ready? This is what it translates to. A step forward, violence to the bitter end. So that's nice, isn't it? Well, I think we should end on this because I'm I'm struggling at the moment to find this. I'm I'm a bit out of practice with these kind of films, so you know, bear bear with me. I'll be better. I'll be better with the next stadium visit. But look at this. What a nice view. We've got the mountains in the background, the cars going down the roads. There's the stadium. Shame the floodlights weren't on when he when he did the picture, but you know, I don't think the stadium is supposed to be the focus of this image. And yeah, it's a nice, nice night. That's it. Where's he taking that picture from? <laughs> <laughs>